Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the latest episode of A Little Farmer's Farm with me, Guru Mathinda. Now today's plan, because I've been off work today, on holiday, um, was to do a lot more work on the trampoline frame polytunnel. Unfortunately, the weather has been atrocious. So, I've done a bit on it, uh, but I've also gone and got a massive haul from Wilco. Now Wilco is, um, well it's a place where you can get gardening stuff from as, uh, as well as other things. I suppose you call it a bit of a big box store, uh, but you'll see that in this episode as well. But I've started to uh, do the front of the polytunnel, the framework around the base plate, and I've put one of the uprights in for the door. Well, that's all we managed to do, so you'll check that out in a second or two. By the way, on our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, we've got a challenge for you growers. Well, actually, not for you growers, for you content providers on the internet, so the YouTube content providers. And the challenge is um, it's pretty straightforward. You've got to put on three of your favourite non-gardening channels and do a video on, a video on them, and um, I'll showcase that, and your name will go into the draw for the big the big first prize so yeah if there's any confusion then i'm sorry about that uh, but that's what you've got to do all right many of you have already done it you'll get a name call tomorrow and a shout out so uh, yeah i hope you enjoy this video i'm going to be putting one up every day friday saturday sunday and monday this weekend because i've got four days off Yee! i'll get some fixer dent for this tooth as well Tatty bye. I must be insane to be out in this. The wind and the rain. More the rain, really, than the wind. But um, it's definitely persistent today. But we've got to get these jobs done. <laughs> so I've got the uh, front side or door side base plate in. And that's the 6x2 tannalised. want to get that level. Now because of the drop off of the slope. On the allotment plot. Excuse me. Um, there's, a, there's a difference in, um, in height. Between the left side. As you look at it. And the right side. So I've had to get that level. Now because of the drop off the timbers ended there when I put these uh, supports for the uh, trampoline frame in um, and there were bricks in the way so I had to dig out level off the ground as best as I can and then put that piece which is an off cut in screwed to the timbers there and then this base plate is going to be screwed to the timber off cut that I'm fitting in there Okay, and as you can see, it's bang on. So for this next bit, we're going to be doing the doorway, or starting to do the doorway. Um, aviation tin snips, they are. £7.50, handyman stores, over at uh, Platts Bridge near Wigan. And some of this stuff, which is called stop bead, stop beading. Uh, and that's an eight foot length of that for two pounds from Handyman Stores in Platbridge near Wigan. And I'll show you what we're going to be doing with that next. So we bend it like Beckham around the bar and uh, just put a couple of little grub screws in that just temporarily. I'll fix it a little bit better later and then I'll put the Gorilla Tape over the top of that. So as any jet, it's not jagged, but it's it's sticking, it's protruding that. So I'll just smooth that off with the gorilla tape later on before we put the sheet in on it, and that should be fine. That okay, and it's fixed at the bottom as well, as you can see there with a the screw. All right. So we're going to ensure that it's still straight and level. Now, difficult to do one-handed this. So, yeah, that seems okay to me, that way. Uh, 
and that way. So that's plum. That's what they call plum. Straight and plum. Now there's been a keen gardener and then there's been a lunatic. It's absolutely peeing down. And it's not going to stop. It's been like this for hours. I'm soaked to the bone. So uh, that's what my gloves think anyway. And I agree with them. So it's off to Wilco's. See you in a bit. Middlebrook near Horwich, Lancashire. That's where we are. We're at Wilco, baby. Right, seed tray and cover. And it's a mix, mix and match deal. Three for two pound. Oh, sorry, three for two. So three trays will be two pounds. And three of the Perspex covers will be six pounds. So that's eight pounds for three. We've got that. You've got to check for things like that though. I've checked mine and there's no chips out of them thus far. I'm speaking quietly because I'm speaking to myself in the middle of Wilco's. Right, we'll make it up to £10, eh? So those are three for two. So you'll get... Nine. Nine of those. 40 cells in so that's um, what's that 9 4 18 36 300, 360 cells and I might as well get the trays to go with them as well because I'll put the tissue paper in there to start them off before they go into there and then just put the water in or just leave it in put that on top yeah Oh yeah, that can go for that as well, let's see, you can't go wrong at Wilco's you know on price, got loads of seeds there haven't they, less than, less than 8 quid or something, fantastic, fan dabby dozy. Now I've got garlic, onions and potatoes coming out my yin yang. But if you haven't come down here and get some. Because they've got everything you could possibly think of here. Onions and garlic and potato wise. As I say though, I've got to, I've got tons of it. But yeah, very reasonable price that as well. Very reasonable price that. Not bad at all. Right, let's get home and look at what our Wilco's haul was today. All right, we're back on the farm in the lady farmer's greenhouse now, and uh, I've just made myself a couple of makeshift tables, as you can see there. That's for putting the propagation uh, trays on. Um, so I'll go and get them. Oh, they are just buckets with uh, a bit of bit of spur plywood thrown on top. But they're stable enough for what we need. Crack on! All right, so that's our Wilco's haul. Roger Wilco Tango Charlie. It's amazing the value actually at Wilco's. We've got six of those propagators there. Um, which are sort of 40 cell propagator units you get the tray well put it this way we've spent 40 sorry 33 pounds on all the propagator stuff and then 11 pounds on uh, 5500 seeds vegetable seeds 5500 vegetable seeds so 11 pounds sterling that's english uh, english pounds gets you five and a half thousand seeds but i'll talk you through the propagators first so as i say 33 pound we've spent you get the tray the tray has holes in it so you'll have to put something underneath it to catch um 
the liquids and, the, and, and everything that comes out uh, d during the seed start process. So we've just got one of those long trays that we've, we've actually got loads of these long trays. So put that underneath. That's not got any holes in it, so that'll be fine. Although it's only a bit of nan uh, manky old um, plywood underneath, so it doesn't really matter. It's not, um, you know, it's not Chippendale or anything underneath. Uh, um, so into that, then you put your seed trays. These have got to be trimmed down, but these are the 40 cells. Um, you get three seed trays to a packet for a pound, but because they were three for two offer, uh, so you end, up, you end up getting nine of them for two pounds, which is what we did. So when that goes into there, obviously that's where you put your compost and start your seeds off, which we'll be showing you on the next episode. And then um, the cover goes off, goes on the top of it. Now it's going to have to be trimmed down. For some reason, these don't fit. Um, when the lid's on. So I'm going to have to trim the corners off from these to make them fit. Don't know why, a bit of a, de bit of a design fault there, Wilco's. Uh, but yeah, so we've got six of them. Yeah, and they came to... What did they come to now? They were, they, they were cheaper than I thought they were going to be, I know that. Um... Something like, something like £7 each or something like that they were. And then... In fact, they were less. No, they must have been less than that. They were less than that. I think it was £24 for the six. Again, it must be less than that. Because that was £10, that, that windowsill propagator there that you can see, the unheated windowsill propagator set, which comes in these, you know, the, the three different growing compartments there. Um, that was £10. That was £10, and that was £11 for all the seeds, so that's 21 quid. So it was 23 quid for some reason, for all all the rest of the propagators. I don't know how that worked out, but it was £44 for everything. Must have been some sort of discount for bulk buying. That I didn't know about. But yeah, so we've got some kale there, some dwarf green curled kale, and bora kale. <laughs> Spinach at the side of it, which is uh, just an American spinach. That's a standard spinach, easy to grow. That perpetual spinach, more like chard. It's like a beet leaf, beet leaf spinach. Um, and then you've got your lettuce at the side there, all the, all the year round, all year round cauliflower, autumn green calabrese, beetroot, the old standard stalwart bolt hardy, as you can see there, cylindra. We're trying this, never tried that before, all that. So we're doing Moulin Rouge and the multicoloured mix. Just with a bit of cheeky variety. I like a bit of cheek. Oh, it's a bit of cheek. Two lots of parsnips there, student. And that's 25 pence. 25 pence, that. 400 seeds. No excuses, boys and girls. 50 pence for the hollow crown. Uh, and then you've got multicoloured radishes, you've got multicoloured carrots. That's the only F1. In fact, no, there's two F1s. There's... No, there isn't. That's the only F1, the multicoloured carrot one, that we've got. And what an F1 means is that it doesn't run through when you serve the seeds. So you might not get this multicoloured mix next time. Not harmful for you, but that's what it does. That's what they say. Uh, there's your cabbage. It's the Golden Acre Primo 2. And we've also got the Red Calibos. Calibos. Calimal! I'm a lunatic. Isn't it? So there we go. Wilco's. Fantastic place. Even when you've not got your tooth in, they'll serve you with that. Um. I think that's good value. I really do think that that is good value for money. We've got a lot of um, a lot of stuff there and a lot of seeds for not very much cost. So um, yeah, I heartily recommend the old Wilco's. They had loads of potatoes. Sorry, they had loads of potatoes in as well and onions and garlic. But I've uh, I've got more than any one man could uh, could cope with really. I've got about 120 seed potatoes, probably more. Probably about 200 seed potatoes. Ridiculous amount. You don't need anywhere near that, but we'll try and fill them in all over the all over the plots. Yeah. 
Right, okay, very good. I'll see you later. Sorry we couldn't do more on uh, on that little fellow outside. On that. But uh, as you can see, the weather is absolutely atrocious across these plots. Very windy, very rainy. And altogether rubbish. Right. If I've not put you off with me lunacy, thanks for coming on board. We've got lots and lots of new subscribers since Christmas, I think. I think we've picked up um, 150 more subscribers since Christmas, so that's fantastic. I'll get around to welcoming you all. If I've not responded and chatted to you so far, then bear with me, I will do that. We're very interactive. We're all about sharing hints, tips triumphs and tragedies on this channel so uh, we all learn to grow better and to um and to create our growing revolution which is what it's all about self-sufficiency in the end all right so i'll leave you with the uh, i'll leave you with the seed hole from wilco's fantastic so five and a half thousand vegetable seeds for 11 pounds which is probably about 13 dollars that is unbelievable Right, see you next time. There'll be another one tomorrow, boys and girls, where I'll be actually starting some of those seeds. Or if the weather's better, we'll be sorting out that polytunnel. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Yeah, so um, that's the beginnings of the equipment that you need to grow seeds, your own vegetable seeds. And as you saw in that video, my idiot brother Bilo uh, who was explaining things to you right there, got it wrong. It came to actually £43 precisely for everything that we bought from um, Wilco. And that was £11 for the seeds, for the 5,500 seeds that we got. It was £10 for the, for the windowsill propagator. And the rest was made up by the six Perspex propagator units. And it came to £22, so it's 43 excuse me, just had some uh, Coca-Cola. £43 altogether for all of that, and that'll get you started. Get a bit of compost, a bit of um, seed compost, and I'll show you that on the next one, on the next one of this mini-series. And uh, we'll plot them from start to finish, the seeds that we're doing. I've got loads more of those propagators, but that's... I got these because I needed more. What we want to do is we want to grow as much as we as, as we can from our own seeds start to finish. I'm not using the F1s if I can get away with it so that the seeds that I gather at the end of the process will hopefully run through and we can save those seeds for next season, for next um, year. Okay. So, uh, yeah, as I say, if you're a contributor to YouTube and you watch our channel and you're a fan of the channel, the challenge on the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which is the last upload that I did, is to put up a video. You have to put up a video of your three favourite non-gardening channels that you watch. You have to be subscribed to them and you have to ring the bell for the notifications on them. Um, so, so, yeah... Thank you very much for the guys that have already put their videos up and they've already entered the challenge. So I'll be naming uh, you guys shortly, but also I'm going to be um, I'm going to be asking you really if you could put your best ones on, your most favourite ones on, so the most favourite non-gardening channels that you watch. Okay. And, uh, and entitle it, Little Farmer's Farm Challenge, my top three favourite non-gardening channels. Okay. Thanks very much. You've got to be in it to win it. If you're a viewer, you can go back and, and watch the 1,000 subscriber giveaway and just put in the comments below, I am in it to win it. There's two prizes going. You'll see. All right. Thanks very much, boys and girls. See you all later. I'll see you tomorrow, actually. Ta-ra.